Hey guys, Doug B here, your average axe wielding hack. This is going to be another short and sweet video that falls under the tips and tricks category. Let's check it out. I've talked about axe change in the past. Like it says, it's the official source for presets and cabs for your axe FX. It's a site where fractal modeler owners can download presets and user cabs for free. You can also upload presets and user cabs to share with others. It's a great resource for finding presets for specific artists and songs. And again, did I mention that it is absolutely free? But you have to download individual sysx files. Like, you know, you click here, and then if you want to download, then I got to allow that, and then it downloads, and then you have to know how to move them to your modeler. <laughs> Man, isn't there an easier way to do this? Why, yes, indeed, my friends, there most certainly is. Axe Edit, FM9 Edit, FM3 Edit. They're all the best ways to get things done with your modeler. It's really a lot easier than using the front panel, in my opinion, of course. And you may have already known this, but if you open the editor, click on Tools, and go just about all the way down, you'll find Axe Change. Wait, what? Oh, yes, Axe Change is now accessible from within the editor, just like FractalBot. You don't have to log into Axe Change, which makes it even easier to deal with. And it will show you the presets available based on which editor you're using. For example, if you're using Axe Edit 3, you'll get the list of presets and cabs available for the Axe FX3. There's also a search box that lets you look for presets or cabs based on certain words. And that's really convenient. And just like they used to say in those horrible Ginsu knife commercials, but, but wait, 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 there's, there's more. more. If you find a preset you like, well, let's just say, for instance, this one here, Nick's Machine Gun, you can download it directly to your modeler. You can choose from Audition, Save to Disk, or Save to Device. Now, each option works just as you'd expect. Audition takes the preset you've chosen right here, Nick's Machine Gun, and as you can see, the preset behind me is empty. If you click on Audition, Boom, it populates it. So you can try it out and then decide if you want to save it or not. So I'm going to say not. So I'm going to go back up here to Tools, Manage Presets. OK, click on this, right click on it, hit Clear, and hit Save. Then hit Close. Now going back to Axe Change, you can click Save to Disk. And that takes the preset, and it will save it as an SYX file, and then you define where to save it. Click Save. Yeah, I've already got it, so I'm going to replace it, sure. Save to Device actually allows you to write the preset you chose to a specific location on your modeler. So you click Save to Device, then the list of presets comes up. Here's all these empty ones. 398 is empty. Let's choose that one and hit Save. And it has been loaded and saved into slot 398. Now, if you haven't tried Axe Change yet, it is now easier than ever. To give it a try. And there is a lot there. Now, for example, for the Axe FX3, there is, I think, around 1,445 user presets, 597 user cabs. Give it a try. Let me know how it goes for you. Now, next Monday, part seven, the last part of my interview with Austin Buddy will be posted. Now, you do not want to miss that. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right, guys, you have a great weekend and I will see you on Monday.